My name is Erin, and I'm an educator at Ornithology Center, and today we're throwing a moth party. To get started, you might want a camera or a notebook for your observations, a white or a light colored sheet, an old jar and a banana or a banana peel, an extension cord and a light bulb, or some way to illuminate your sheet for the moths to flutter to. And popcorn. Don't forget the popcorn. While you can try any light bulb you have at home, moths are really attracted to lights with shorter wavelengths, like UV or more violet portions of the spectrum. To set up for your moth party, find a spot to hang your sheet, somewhere where you can later have the light bulb shining on it or behind it safely. And remember, light bulbs can get really hot, so if you need to walk away, just put a pause on the party and turn the light bulb off until you come back. So not all moths are attracted to light, so if you'd like to lure them with a smelly delight, it's called moth sugaring. You're going to want to take one banana or banana peel a few days before and let it sit in a jar with a little sugar and some sunlight so it starts to ferment. We're going to blend up our banana or banana peel now until we get about an applesauce consistency in our blender. With a spoon or a paintbrush, you can start to apply your sugaring jar contents to nearby trees or spots in your backyard. Try to keep them at eye level so that if a moth lands, you'll be sure to see it. There's 11,000 species of moths in North America, and through citizen science projects like iNaturalist and National Moth Week, over 140 species have already been spotted in Milwaukee. Be sure to document your observations and share who flew on through with us at UEC in my backyard. What does a moth learn in school? Mathematics? <laughs>